What's up everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make crunch wraps better than Taco Bell. So for this recipe, you're going to need the veggies of your choice. I'm going to go with green peppers, but you can literally put whatever you want in it. You're going to want to shred some cheese. For the crunch, you're going to want to have Doritos. You can use whatever kind you want. We went with nacho. Your favorite hot sauce for on top. Some homemade salsa, sour cream, queso. You are going to need either a panini press or a frying pan. And you're going to need some tortilla wraps. If you don't have the small ones as well, you can just take a larger one and cut it in four. We are going to use that garlic plus from Costco. For the ground beef, we're going to start cooking it. And I do have black pepper on top there. I just didn't show me putting it on there. And then you're going to also want a packet of taco seasoning. You can leave this out and season it how you want. But we are going to just be doing this because it is a Taco Bell themed video. So for this, you're going to start cooking your ground beef, and you're going to be adding that garlic plus seasoning from Costco. I absolutely love this stuff. I put it literally in everything you guys have seen in other videos that I'm showing what I cook. It's amazing. So once your beef is fully cooked, you're going to add your packet of taco seasoning, and you're going to add a third cup of water. I think I accidentally, sorry, I think it's two third cups. Whatever is on the back and it, whatever it says, add that. I did add one third cup here and it wasn't enough. So I did have to add two thirds. So I added another one third cup and you're just going to mix it until it's fully combines. Now, once your beef is completely cooked and it is ready, now it's time to assemble. So on a piece of parchment paper, which you are going to need that, uh, you're going to take your large wrap and you're going to start spooning out some of your ground beef and putting it right in the center. Now, once you have your ground beef, you are going to add some queso. This is basically going to melt and make that ground beef amazing. It's going to make it nice and gooey. So we're going to add some of our queso on top of a ground beef, and we're going to kind of spread it onto it. Just like that. And then next, you're going to add the veggies of your choice. Like I said, I'm going to keep it simple with some green peppers, but you can add tomatoes or whatever veggies that you like or even have available to you in your fridge. You're going to go ahead and put those on next. After that, you're going to want to put a layer of Dorito chips on top. That's going to give it the crunch for the crunch wraps. After that, we're going to put a gallop of sour cream on top. And I do like sour cream, so I tend to put a little bit more uh, than most people do for their dishes. And then you're going to take a little bit of homemade salsa. I love homemade salsa. We're going to put that on top as well. And then you're going to put a decent amount of your shredded cheese. You can use whatever kind of shredded cheese that you want. You can also substitute everything in this for different stuff. Even the beef, you can use chicken and make chicken crunch wraps if you want. And then now you think it's a little bit too big, you're going to take that smaller wrap, or if you did slice a bigger wrap in four, you're going to put it on top, and you're going to smush it down a little bit. And that is the fun part, folding it. So I'm just going to show you guys here. You're just going to fold it one end up, and then you're just going to go around in a circular motion and folding little by little. And at the end, you should have something that looks like this. And then I'm going to take that. I'm going to flip it upside down so the seam is on the bottom. And then we're going to fold the parchment paper in half, and we're going to toss that on the panini press. Now, if you don't have a panini press, you can just put this in a frying pan um, and put the seam side down first so it gets it sealed. But for this here, we're just going to put it like that, and then we're going to close the panini press, and I'm going to slightly press down a little bit on it just so it crushes it a little bit more and hopefully gets a nice seal because you want it sealed. You don't want it to leak out. So once it has those nice grill marks, you're going to take it off the panini press. And then with a sharp knife, I'm going to go ahead and cut this right down the middle and show you guys the cross section. This is going to be amazing. It's girthier. It's bigger. It's better than Taco Bell. I highly recommend it. If you guys had one from Taco Bell, you know it's very skimpy. This is amazing. Usually, I do have a little bit more inside, but I do top it off while I'm eating it with a little bit of sour cream, some of my hot sauce, my blueberry hot sauce, and even some salsa at times. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.